Alright. We're moving on to Stone Man. Gravity Man is indeed next. And not much change on him other than that little jewel in the middle of his chest there. Yeah, that's Yoshi's Island. The graphics not so good, but the music is actually pretty impressive considering it's running on 8-bit sound. Mm. satisfaction of locking one of those little spinning blades on one of the blocks. Not the best hidden E-tank ever. Make it too easy. Again, this is another reasonably well-designed level. Nothing overly evil about it. Just blatantly taken from Yoshi's Island. Not taking any chances. Yeah. Despawn down. Nothing down here. How the fuck is that work? skyline there in the background. hate those stupid pit jumper things.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to launch that down there. Send it on its way. Meet it there. Or do that. Or that. There we go. All right, we've made it to the Wily door. Now, Stone Man was basically a pushover in the original version, and thankfully, not a whole lot has changed. Um, you can also see the Mario 3 Sun up there in the uh, corner, but for some reason he now has legs. Wasn't expecting him to take him down on the first try, especially not at not full health, so... Yeah, for some reason... Even though I know he doesn't stun me when he hits the ground, still jump. Now, the biggest things they've changed is duration for how long the actual stones he throws actually stay on the screen, and they're affected by what directions you push on the D-pad. Or as you see, the Every time I turn, they change directions, basically, which sucks if you're a constant mover like I am. Yeah. Died with him with one HP left. Sit there and reflect about that. As you can see, we now have three of those stupid stones on the screen. Not helping. Might as well, they gave me a free E-Tank on the level. And there you are. Stone Man is no more. That curry music is so goddamn inappropriate. Alright, let's show you what we're gonna show you next time. We'll show you how to conquer this asshole.